Hello, folks. A lot of you have asked, how do I get all the mods installed for my Minecraft server? And so, here's a tutorial. Enjoy. Okay, folks. We are going to go through each and every step of how to install the mods for our Minecraft server, which should only take us a few minutes, but we're going to do it live. So this is live, unscripted, unedited, well, probably edited, and a little bit of detail as to how we're going to go about doing all these bits and pieces. I'm going to try and include a bit of context, but I'm going to try and be as succinct as possible. And if you know me, that's really difficult to do. <laughs> First thing we're going to do, I have cleared out my So this is this is my here here on, uh, on, uh, in, on my machine. This is going to have Valhesia installed in it, but I'm not doing that yet. I cleared out my current install so I can do this from scratch so that everybody can see it happen live. Over here, we have CurseForge, their actual website open, and we're looking at Minecraft and we're looking at mods. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click, click over here into the search mod pack section. I'm going to go Valhelsia 5. Search that up. There is Valhelsia 5. Cool. There's the details. There's all the mods. There's their, their advertising. There's all good to go. I'm going to click install over here. And it's going to say your download is going to start in CurseForge app. Cool. Open CurseForge. Yes. I'm assuming you've already installed CurseForge. All the way on the left hand side here, we can see that the mod is downloading. You can see that all the, the bits and pieces, all the subsequent mod pieces, those are all working. Cool. In here is going to be the base requirements we need to just get in and get going. Where some folk are having some trouble is when we want to install the shader packs. So what I'm going to do I'm going to run over to the Discord. I'm going to grab a very specific link. And it's of a specific version of Oculus. And the reason why that is, is for some context, if we go to Valhazia 5, and this is the wiki for Valhazia, we go in here, and under their knowledge base, there is a section for Optifine. Optifine is a tool like Oculus that allows you to use shader packs. When you're looking at Oculus, you see here Valhalla 5 1.19, Modpack version 5.0.14a, not compatible with Optifine. Okay, but it is compatible with Oculus 1.2.8a. This is this is the key important part here. It's only compatible with this version. So on the left hand side, we see this this download's already done. We're gonna go plug in this. And it's going to go to this specific file. And you can see, okay, so this is Oculus. This is the mod. And this is something that I got tripped up on before as well. Don't click this download and install button. Click this download and install button. The one on the top right will install the most recent version. This will install the specific file you're looking for. So we click install. It's going to ask if you want to do this. Cool. We're going to open in CurseForge. We're going to say install Oculus. Where would you like to install this? We're going to go, okay, we're going to select an existing profile because we already have one. You can see Valhalla just pops up here. If it isn't compatible, let's say you downloaded the wrong version of Oculus, it's going to say non-compatible versions down here. We obviously don't want that. So we want the correct version. We're going to download the correct version of Oculus, install the correct version of Oculus, click install, and it's going to start downloading Oculus. Super cool. That will take a few minutes because Oculus is not a small tool. Consider it's a graphical not really a graphical engine, but it, it modifies how the, the graphical tools in Minecraft work. Meanwhile, we're going to grab the complementary shaders. So this is complementary shaders V4. This is the shader pack that I'm using. This is the one you saw on stream. I'm going to hit download, and that's going to download it here in a minute, and it'll live on the bottom of my um, downloads bar in Chrome. So that took longer than I would hoped it would. But the long story short is, it says here, Oculus mod was successfully added. Cool. When you do it this way and you install the specific version of Oculus, it will download all the dependencies through CurseForge all by itself. So we don't have to worry about installing Iris or other tools like that, which it will install as needed. But in this particular case, because of the specific version, everything's copied in. So now that this is downloaded and ready to go, we're going to hit play. 
it's going to launch the Minecraft launcher. So there's the Minecraft launcher. Here it is. Here's Valhalla 5, Forge version 43.2.3. Forge is a mod loader. I'm not going to get into that. We'll get into that another day. We're going to hit play. Going to do the preparing. And it's going to switch over. You will have this screen. Minecraft is all loaded up. We're going to go to Options in Video Settings. And you can see the Video Settings page in Minecraft has changed. You can make any changes you normally would here. So I would normally play VSync, and I would change this to frame limit to 60, and I'd do apply. This is all normal. You can then go to Shader Packs, and you see here there's nothing here. What I'm going to do is this uh, complementary shaders download that we did earlier, we're going to grab that. We're just going to drag it into Minecraft. It's going to copy that over. We're going to click here and we're going to go shader pack settings. Now you can configure this however you want. You can leave it as default. It's totally fine. Skoka's is playing default. I'm playing on extreme. Um, so it's the, it's the most set up as possible. And I've got compatibility mode on. Uh, my graphics card can handle that. You tune this to however comfortable you're going to be with your settings and your rig and everything else. Hit apply. Hit done. Hit done. All out. And then when you want, you can then connect to the server. So here I've loaded up my server. I'm going to hit play. I'm going to log in as per usual. We'll have this super cool looking, super exciting uh, shader pack filled world all set up and ready to go. And there it is. Now, of course, it thinks I'm brand new because I have created a whole new install. But here we are. Welcome to CookieCraft. Or that's what our Minecraft server is. Your mileage may vary for whatever setup you want to do. But there it is. I hope you enjoyed that. Have a great time, folks. See you next time.